Welcome to the Senior Physics Lab and I'm going to demonstrate how we can measure the speed of light in glass or in other words measure the refractive index of, of glass. So here we've got the equipment that we're going to be using and we're going to be using a laser beam of course we need a, a light source to measure the, the speed of light and we've got two blocks of glass, a uh, block of glass one centimeter in thickness and another one which is half a centimeter in thickness and we've got a, a sheet of paper here and I'm not sure if you can see it there but there's a, a red laser dot on that sheet of paper and what we've got here we've got the laser beam which is angled downwards and it's reflecting off this off the shiny surface of this optical bench and it's reflecting off there and we can see the dot on this sheet of paper on the wall. Now this experiment does uh, uh, depend on the optical bench being uh, pretty flat and also the wall that the paper on is on being at 90 degrees to the bench and here I've got this wonderful yellow spirit level and we put it down on there, I'm not sure if John you can zoom in on the bubble and we can see yes the optical bench is nice and horizontal and then on the wall on there and that, the bubble there if I go like that it's in the uh, in the middle so that's good so we're all uh, uh, set up and uh, the actual process is fairly uh, simple we have the laser dot at, at a known distance from the, from the wall. In this case it's, uh, it's 40 centimetres. I've got this uh, uh, Sinec sticker to actually indicate the 40 centimetre position. And so we know we're 40 centimetres from there to there. And also another interesting thing um, about this uh, experiment is that we don't have to uh, precisely position this. Yeah, we're having some kind of protractor in order to be able to measure the, uh, the angle because if we know um, this distance here from the laser dot to the wall and the height of this reflected laser dot above the level of the bench then we can use trigonometry to calculate the angle, the reflection angle which of course is going to be the incident angle, that's the way uh, reflection works, the reflected angle is the same as the incident angle. And then we put our block of glass um, in the way, in fact before we uh, do that I should mark the position of this laser spot so um, it's a bit difficult because it's quite sort of blobby uh, but we'll mark the middle so I'll put a mark there and then we put our, our block of glass in the way and you can see that's where the original dot was and we've jumped up, we've got a big dot here and another one there and another one, a weaker one which we're not going to worry about. So uh, what we've got here then, we've got the position of the dot from the laser being reflected off the flat surface of the bench and then uh, we've got uh, two other dots, the, the, the top dot is the reflection of the laser beam off the top surface of the glass which you won't be able to see on the, on the video and then when the beam goes into the glass what it does, it come, if I explain with a pencil, it comes along and then it, um, it kinks like that um, and goes, off, goes down to the glass at a different angle and then it reflects off the base of the glass uh, comes back up again and then it, it kinks again uh, when it comes out of the glass and then actually uh, goes on and forms the, the second dot. Now what we can do, we can take uh, the four basic measurements, we've got the distance of the laser dot reflecting off the bench to the wall, uh, the height of the, um, the reflection off the, off the bench and then these two heights here, one height the reflection of the beam of the beam off the top surface of the glass 
and then the refracted beam. It's refracted and bounced off the bottom surface of the glass, come up again, and then it's, uh, it's exited the glass and formed here. So those four measurements, this one, of course, stays the same, uh, because what actually happens, I'll just uh, show you, if we go now to a different position, uh, I move the laser beam back, and then angle the laser dot so that it, it reflects off the same position. Uh, now we're, we're coming in a shallower angle, and so the, the dot has moved up. So I'll mark that with a different pencil, so a red one. So mark that there, like that, and then put a block of glass in place, and we've got those other two dots again, like that. And we can uh, repeat that for uh, different angles. And the results I'm going to give you will be for five uh, measurements for this, for this block of glass. We have five um, positions of the laser beam and therefore five uh, different angles. So that will be for this block of glass. And then I'm going to repeat the process for the, um, the thin block of glass. So let's just uh, have that in the same position, so we've got the same um, dot base dot there. Let's just put on that. A bit difficult to actually uh, mark this, but green there. Put this like that, and we've got the uh, dots here. So one there and one there. <clears throat> so that's for the small, uh, the small glass, block of glass, which is uh, half the thickness of that. And so we do the same again, do, uh, do five measurements. Now in this, in this experiment, we're actually going to test uh, an hypothesis. Now most experiments involve a test of an hypothesis. That's a, an, a kind of an assumption which is made prior to performing the, um, the experiment, an assumption about the results. Now our hypothesis here is that um, these two lumps of glass have the same refractive index. So um, we're making five measurements on this block, five measurements on that, and then we're going to analyse the results in a certain way to see whether or not that is true. And so I'm going to um, uh, put the, the basic measurement data on, on, the, you know, on the Blackboard site, which you can download, and I want you to actually write uh, kind of a mini scientific paper about this experiment and um, I'll place a, a, a template paper on Blackboard for you to download and you've got to fill in the details and very briefly our paper will have the following sections there's the, the title, there's your name on the paper and then an abstract which is a 200 word sum summary, that's all only 200 words which describes the experiment in its entirety um, what you've done, why you've done it, and the basics of the results, all, in, all included in that 200 word abstract. And then the next section is the uh, introduction in which you describe or explain why uh, this experiment has been performed. It's to measure the speed of light uh, in glass or refractive index of glass and we want to see whether or not these two bits of glass uh, have the same refractive index as measured by this, uh, by this technique. And also the introduction explains the relation of this work to previous work. Now what I've done, I've actually uh, I've used a technique for measuring the refractive index of a, of a liquid, a paper which was published in Physics Education. I've, I've used that and I've adapted it uh, for measuring the refractive index of, of a block of glass. So that's going to be the first reference in the paper, which I'll, I'll leave in there uh, for you. So you have to explain that in the introduction, make that connection with previous work. And then the next section of the paper is the materials and methods, and the materials we've got the laser beam, uh, we've got the two blocks of glass, um, we've got our, uh, our spirit level, we'd maybe you can briefly mention that, to actually just checking that everything is all square, we've got our, our paper stuck on the wall, we've got our, our pencils for marking off the different um, uh, dots, different coloured pencils to make it easier to, to analyse the uh, results and also another thing 
uh, so I'm going to be using to actually measure the actual distances between the, the, the dots, the distances from the, of the dots from here down to the base using this thing called a, a, a digital uh, micrometer. Where you just sort of uh, move this around, you might not be able to see it there, but uh, what we've got there, as, as it's moved, you can see the digital scale increase. Okay, so that's going to be used for measuring the height of these dots above the above the bench. So um, I'll give you the um, the results. There, they're going to be on a on a file on on the Blackboard site. Um, so that they will go into uh, into the uh, results section as a as a table. Um, and also, I've got some photographs for you to um, include a photograph and a diagram for you to actually put into the uh, into the materials and methods section um, to build up a, a picture. So we've got the materials, and then also how you describe how the measurements are obtained, as uh, I've just explained before. And then uh, the results, the data goes into the uh, results section. Um, and I'll get you to draw a graph of the mean refractive index for the two different blocks and put some error bars on as well. Because we're making five measurements, uh, we're getting the mean and the standard deviation of the measurements. That gives us some idea of the variability of this method for measuring the refractive index of, of glass. Um, and then there's a basic statistical test which I'll uh, explain in document for uh, checking whether or not the refractive indices of these two blocks of glass are indeed uh, similar. So that will be spelled out in the in, in the document. And then the final part of the paper is the uh, conclusion. And what you do, so, sorry, the discussion, the discussion. Some papers do have a conclusion as well, but we're just going to have a discussion um, um, rather than a discussion and a, and a conclusion. So the discussion, the results are discussed and what you'll need to do is to go onto the web and find typical values for the refractive index of glass and to see whether or not the values obtained for these two blocks of glass are typical values for glass and if not um, to say that and also um, discuss why um, there are those differences and also another very important thing to include in the discussion section are the errors involved. Now you'll notice here, you may not see it on, 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 on video, but take my word for it, that laser spot is fairly fairly large. Even the basic laser spot just going onto, onto, onto a sheet of paper um, is, is fairly large. Though you know, it's very small compared to a torch beam, but it's, uh, it's, pretty, um, it's pretty small. But when it uh, reflects off the bench and um, goes to the glass, it becomes becomes wider. So there's a bit of error there. So you can discuss that. That's all error, uh, which uh, affects the affects the results. And uh, in the um, uh, discussion section, you can say whether or not you think the experiment was a success as well.